In a serene village nestled between ancient mountains and a vast, tranquil sea, lived a revered Zen master. The village, steeped in tradition and shrouded in the mist of ancient wisdom, was a place where time seemed to stand still. The villagers lived simple lives, in harmony with nature and each other. They sought guidance from the Zen master, whose wisdom was said to transcend the earthly plane, the Zen master was a figure of calm and grace, with a presence that brought peace to all who encountered him. His teachings were subtle yet profound, often delivered through stories that held layers of meaning. One such story, told on a crisp autumn evening, left an indelible mark on the village and became a cornerstone of their collective wisdom. It was a story about five things one should never receive from anyone, as they attract bad luck and disrupt the delicate balance of life, the story began with a young man, eager to understand the deeper mysteries of life. This young man, full of curiosity and ambition, approached the Zen master with a simple yet profound question, what are the things I should avoid to live a life of peace and harmony? The Zen master nodded, his eyes twinkling with the light of countless sunsets. He beckoned the young man to sit by his side under the great Bodhi tree that stood at the heart of the village. As the leaves rustled gently in the wind, the Zen master began his tale. The first gift, a mirror. Once, in a faraway land, there was a prosperous merchant who prided himself on his wealth and possessions. Among his many treasures was a magnificent mirror, crafted by the finest artisans. It was said to reflect not just the physical appearance of a person, but also the deepest desires and fears hidden within their hearts. One day, a traveler, weary and seeking shelter, arrived at the merchant's house. In gratitude for the merchant's hospitality, the traveler gifted him the mirror. Delighted, the merchant placed it in his grand hall, where he could admire himself daily. As days turned into weeks, the merchant began to notice something strange. Whenever he gazed into the mirror, he saw not only his own reflection but also visions of his deepest fears and insecurities. These visions haunted him, eroding his confidence and peace of mind. His once prosperous life began to unravel, as he became consumed by the dark reflections in the mirror, the Zen master paused, letting the weight of the story settle. A mirror given with the intent to flatter or deceive can reveal not only our physical flaws but also the shadows within our hearts. It can lead us to dwell on our insecurities, attracting misfortune and unrest. Thus, one should never accept a mirror that promises more than a mere reflection. The second gift, a jeweled dagger. In a kingdom where power and intrigue reigned, there was a warrior known for his unmatched skill in battle. One day, a fellow warrior, envious of his prowess, presented him with a jeweled dagger, claiming it was a token of friendship and respect. The dagger was exquisite, encrusted with precious gems and forged from the finest steel, initially, the warrior was honored by the gift. However, he soon noticed that those around him began to treat him with suspicion and fear. Whispers of betrayal and treachery filled the air, as the dagger became a symbol of hidden malice and danger. The once respected warrior found himself isolated and mistrusted, his reputation tarnished by the very gift that was meant to honor him. The Zen master continued, a weapon given as a gift, especially one adorned with jewels, carries the weight of hidden intentions. It can symbolize betrayal, jealousy, and the potential for violence. Accepting such a gift invites conflict and misfortune into one's life. The third gift, a locked box. In a remote village, there lived a humble farmer known for his honesty and hard work. One day, a stranger appeared at his door, 
offering a beautifully carved wooden box. The box was locked, and the stranger handed the farmer the key, saying, this box contains a treasure beyond your wildest dreams. Guard it well, and it will bring you great fortune. Intrigued, the farmer accepted the gift and placed it in a safe corner of his home. However, the box's presence began to weigh on his mind. Curiosity gnawed at him, and he found himself constantly wondering about its contents. His work in the field suffered, as he spent more time pondering the box than tending to his crops. One day, unable to bear the suspense any longer, the farmer unlocked the box. To his dismay, he found it empty. The stranger's words had been a cruel trick, and the farmer realized that he had wasted precious time and energy on an illusion. The Zen master smiled gently, a locked box given as a gift can symbolize false promises and unattainable desires. It distracts us from our true purpose and sows seeds of doubt and dissatisfaction. Such a gift can lead us astray, causing us to neglect what truly matters. The fourth gift, a pair of shoes. In a bustling town, there was a young woman who loved to dance. She was graceful and light on her feet, bringing joy to all who watched her. One evening, a wealthy patron, enchanted by her talent, presented her with a pair of exquisite shoes. The shoes were made of the finest materials, adorned with intricate designs, and promised to enhance her performance. Overwhelmed by the patron's generosity, the dancer accepted the gift and wore the shoes at her next performance. To her surprise, the shoes were uncomfortable and hindered her movements. She stumbled and fell, injuring herself and shattering her confidence. The once joyous dancer found herself unable to perform. Her spirit crushed by the very gift meant to elevate her, the Zen master observed, a pair of shoes given with ulterior motives can lead us to walk paths not meant for us. They may appear beautiful and promising, but if they do not fit our true nature, they can cause harm and misfortune. Accepting such a gift can lead us away from our authentic selves. The Fifth Gift, A Book of Secrets In an ancient city known for its scholars and sages, there lived a young scholar who sought knowledge above all else. One day, a mysterious stranger gifted him a book, its cover worn and pages yellowed with age. The stranger whispered, this book contains the secrets of the universe. Guard it well, for it holds great power, eager to unlock the mysteries within, the scholar devoted himself to studying the book. However, the secrets it contained were dark and troubling, filling his mind with fears and doubts. The once bright and curious scholar became withdrawn and paranoid, fearing the knowledge he had gained and the consequences of its misuse, the Zen master concluded, a book of secrets given with an aura of mystery can cloud our minds and hearts. It can lead us down a path of fear and isolation, as we become consumed by the knowledge it holds. Such a gift can trap us in a web of uncertainty, attracting misfortune and despair. The young man sat in silence, absorbing the Zen master's words. Each story carried a lesson that resonated deeply within him. He realized that the gifts we receive are not just physical objects but bearers of intentions and energies that can shape our lives. The Zen master spoke softly, in life, it is not the gifts themselves that bring good or bad fortune, but the intentions behind them and the way we receive them. We must be mindful of what we accept into our lives, for every gift carries a piece of the giver's soul. By understanding this, we can protect our peace and harmony. The young man bowed in gratitude, feeling a profound sense of clarity and purpose. He understood that true wisdom lay not in seeking external treasures but in cultivating inner peace and discernment. 
As he left the Zen master's side, he carried with him a newfound awareness of the gifts he received and the intentions they carried. The story of the five gifts spread throughout the village, becoming a guiding principle for the villagers. They learned to approach each gift with mindfulness, discerning the intentions behind them and the impact they would have on their lives. In doing so, they maintained the delicate balance of their peaceful existence, living in harmony with themselves and the world around them, and so, the wisdom of the Zen master continued to illuminate the hearts and minds of those who sought his guidance, a beacon of light in a world filled with shadows and illusions. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.